Okay, good morning everybody. Well, at least it's morning here uh, where I'm at. Nice cup of coffee. And um, I'm walking out to my little bike shop. In fact, I'm gonna walk all the way past it. And um, we're gonna talk about getting a motorcycle ready to go motorcycle camping. And please ignore all the mess in the background. I'm in the process of building um, a building. Anyways, we're out here in the woods and I'm gonna turn the camera around in just a second. And um, we're gonna talk about this. I'm just gonna sorta of show you what I'm doing to prep for this trip. I've actually never been on a motorcycle camping trip before. Um, I've done plenty of tent and primitive camping, you know, hiking, and I've done a lot of it on bicycles too. So pretty much just treating this like a bike trip, um, just the bike has an engine. So let's turn the camera around and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit. While I drink some coffee. All right, so we are out here as what we jokingly refer to as our sacrificial altar. We're not really sure what the purpose of this platform was. It's just, as you can see, um, out in the woods, my property goes kind of slopes down that hill past where I've got that target on the tree and just keeps on going off into the woods. Um, and I pushed uh, the red Evo Sportster out here into the woods and I had two choices for a motorcycle for this trip it was either this bike the Evo Sportster or my Ironhead and the Evo was kind of the obvious choice for one reason and one reason only and that is right here this nice tall sissy bar with the bag this isn't a reliability choice um, I very firmly believe that my iron head is just as reliable as this bike and I would get on it and ride it just as far as I'm about to ride this bike. So let's look at the stuff I've got laid out and talk about the trip itself too and get packing. So there's all of my stuff laid out on the platform and I've got it divided into four piles. We have the get dressed pile, the go to sleep pile, the beverages and refreshments pile and the fix it pile so i'm gonna sort of um open this stuff up a little bit and we'll talk about it one by one as we put it into the bag and before we get like too far into the actual packing i should probably even tell you all where i'm going so september 29th and 30th they are having i think they call it uh, mayhem at midway it's up in lexington north carolina so it's about two hours one direction from here not really that long of a ride um, but it's an old school ride in only no campers no trailers um, you know no bikes in the back of pickup trucks ride in only camp out and motorcycle show hang out you know burnout contests and whatever wet t-shirts and all the good old school stuff so Chris who I used to run my shop with y'all have seen him on this channel before um, he and I are gonna ride up Friday evening and um, we're gonna camp out Friday night and then hang out all day Saturday. We may or may not come back Saturday evening. We might camp out Saturday night too. That still remains to be seen. But uh, let's turn this camera around and let's get packing. Okay, we're gonna start with the big stuff first, um, being the tent and the sleeping bag. I might actually leave the sleeping bag off and just strap this to the back of the sissy bar. I've done that on bicycles. Uh, obviously bikes don't have sissy bars, but I've done similar stuff. I've just dangled it. You can see there's still some dirt and mud on this from the last time I went camping on a bicycle. Um, so I'm gonna throw the, the tent in first. Be right back. Next, I think I'm gonna shove all my clothes in there. Um, going pretty light, t-shirt, two pairs of socks. You gotta take care of your feet, two pairs of underwear, and a sweatshirt, because I don't know how cold it's gonna be. Okay, before I pack the fix-it stuff, I just wanted to show what it actually is, and feel free to leave your input on it if I brought too much or not enough. It's got a multi-tool, so you've got a set of pliers, wire cutters. Um, there's an extra knife. I pretty much always try and carry a knife with me everywhere I go, but there we go. A screwdriver, Phillips head, and a flathead on the other side. And then this little tool roll is pretty handy. Um, I've had this for a long time, and this come from my Uncle Rich, but yeah, it's what is that two four five wrenches double ended so you've got seven sixteenths three eighths you know five sixteenths some pretty common stuff for motorcycles and then the uh, all sixteenths wrench right here and i think that should be fine i'm not really expecting to have to use any of this um both of the bikes that we're taking are pretty reliable chris is riding his electric glide he still hasn't finished his iron head 
that's sitting in my storage unit. Um, chances are if that bike ever gets finished, it'll be because I'm the one who finishes it for him. <laughs> so I'm going to throw this in there. Okay, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on the beverage section. This is actually important to me, being comfortable when you go camp. And this is, again, this isn't like a how-to channel. This is just how I do. But this is what's important to me. So first up is this little hexagon wood stove. This thing is sweet. I'm not going to take it all the way out, but you can see it's kind of dirty. I've used it a bunch. Basically, this thing just folds out, and you end up with a little small compact wood stove. And it's perfect for... You can just grab some like little small pieces of kindling sticks like this and a couple of dry leaves and then you know a few bigger sticks and whatnot and stuff them down in there and have yourself a nice little fire and generally what i do with this is you see my little uh tea kettle i don't don't know where i got this from but i've had this a really long time it's been on a lot of camping trips with me and just put it down on top of the stove and i normally pack this like this so I stuff some dry paper in there just in case I can't find some dry leaves, some coffee grounds, and a cigarette lighter, and make some hot water. Um, water bottle to actually carry some water in. Obviously, this was a bicycle trip. Um, water is a lot more important than it is on a motorcycle since you're expending so much energy. Um, but I'm going to bring one bottle of water. It's empty for now. I'll fill it up like the day we leave. I don't know how much water they'll have available there, but I guess I can always stop at gas station. And then my little baby coffee mug. And she's so cute. Aww. Stainless again. And then this is pretty sweet. Um, this is, I forget what they call it, like a helix funnel. But check this guy out. You kind of just take the ears and pull them back through. And look at that. So this sits right on top of your coffee mug. And then you can put, there's filters in here. I'm not going to take them out, but you put your filters in there. Put your coffee grounds on top. And then pour your hot water in. And this sure beats the hell out of old school cowboy coffee, you know, where you just make a pot of hot, hot water and float the coffee grounds in it and then hope they settle out. Um, this guy is awesome, weighs nothing, and packs down completely flat, so that's that's pretty sweet. And here's a peek down inside the bag. Um, I pretty much fit everything in there with room to spare, so I've got room to throw my camera in there, and it's BYOB Friday night. They're having an oyster roast, so throw some something in there, some ginger ales or whatever. And um, yeah, I ended up doing what I said I was going to do with the um, sleeping bag. I just strapped it to the sissy bar. And then um, the water bottle, I just ran the sissy bar bag strap through it so it doesn't blow out going down the road. And as far as the bike itself is concerned, I've got some little nitpicky stuff that I want to just go over before I take a trip. Stuff like, um, let me zoom in on it, like right there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but the this strap is starting to get kind of frayed on the sissy bar bag. So I'm going to cut that off and then take a cigarette lighter and, and burn it. So it's, it's a nice, you know, clean end. Well, it's not perfect, but it's a little better. Other motorcycle stuff, well, really just the basics. Check the oil, everything looks good there. I just changed it, so it should be good to go. Um, if y'all have watched my other videos about this bike, I've fairly well been through it. It's all new fuel lines, new spark plugs, carburetors, been um, gone through, rejetted, and and cleaned uh, primary has been changed this bike has brand new tires on it those are tires new tires right there and new tires back here too if you'll please excuse my rooster who drives me up the wall it's like he knows i'm shooting videos and then he starts crawling all right so there we go the bike's pretty much packed for two days and uh let me know if you think i forgot anything or if i brought too much not enough give me your motorcycle camping tips and tricks uh like i said i've never done this before but um i'm actually going to go turn this thing around down in the woods and i'm gonna turn the camera on for this because there's a really good chance i'm gonna wipe out this might be fun to watch
be able to turn around down there, but instead I'm just gonna loop it and come back up the hill. Yeah, that was really fun. Probably didn't come across good on camera, just how steep it is down there. And I was really taking my time with it, but uh, yeah, now that I've done it once, I kind of want to go rip that again, like full speed one time instead of just poking through it. But um, that's really it for this episode. I know this is more like vlog content and it was really just me like packing a bag and talking about checking over a bike before a trip, which there's very little to check on that bike really. Tire pressure, tire condition, brake condition, uh, you know, check the chain or the belt. In my case, it's a belt. Check the oil, service it if you haven't serviced it. But all that stuff's been taken care of on this motorcycle within the last few months. So I know this one's good to go, but I still, you know, want to just lay some hands on it and look it over. Um, if I missed anything, if you think there's something I should have packed to go camping on a motorcycle, tell me. If there was something that I did pack that you were like, oh man, I never thought about that, tell me that too. That's it for this one. I'm gonna try and keep these like vlog style episodes that I'm gonna put out like midweek a little bit shorter and then keep the Sunday episodes that are, you know, the actual working on bikes, make those a little bit longer. And speaking of working on a bike, I have uh, some aluminum to go weld on a Sportster. You'll see that uh, very soon. Thanks for watching.